Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. Today's episode, we're going to be reviewing load sharing transformers given both KVA ratings and impedance values and the value of the load. For two load sharing transformers with equal winding ratios, find the power delivered to a 2300 KVA load by transformer 2 if transformer 1 is rated for 1500 KVA with a 6% impedance and transformer 2 is rated for 1000 KVA with a 4.83 impedance. So over here on the left we've got T1, T2, and our 2300 KVA load. The problem is asking for our power contribution made by T2 to our load, which we're going to designate S2 prime. So starting with our formulas, we know that S2 prime equals our load power multiplied by S2 rating over Z2 divided by the sum of S1 over Z1 plus S2 over Z2. So we plug in our values and for SL, our load, we know it's 2300 kVA. And then on our ratio, we've got our S2 rating is 1000 kVA divided by the impedance, which is 4.83. And then on the bottom, we've got S1 is 1500 kVA divided by a 6% impedance plus 1000 kVA divided by the same 4.83 impedance. So we carry out the math and we have S2 prime or our power contribution from transformer 2 to the shared load is equal to 1000 41.9 KVA. Now, is transformer 2 overloaded? Well, since our transformer 2 rating is only 1000 KVA, and we're currently drawing 1042 KVA, the answer is yes. This transformer is overloaded. Now, if we're asked to find by how much, we can take the percentage of the overload as 1,041.9 kVA divided by 1,000 kVA minus 1 equals 0.0419, or that's the same as 4.19% overloaded. Now we know our S prime 2 or transformer 2 contribution. What about S1 prime or T1's power contribution? Well just like currents our power is going to add up the same. So we know that our load is going to equal the sum of both transformer power contributions since we know our load, our total, and we know S2 prime, we can find S1 prime as our load minus the contribution from transformer 2. So our transformer 1 contribution is the same as 2300 kVA minus 1041.9 kVA. This comes out to be 1,258.1 kVA. Now, same question as before. Is transformer 1 overloaded? Well, transformer 1's rating, of course, is 1,500 kVA. And since we're only drawing 1,258, the answer is no. T1 is not overloaded. In fact, if we want to find the percentage that it is loaded, we could do the same math of 
0.1 kVA divided by its actual rating of 1500 kVA minus 1 gives us a negative 0 0.1613 multiply that by 100 and we come up with 16.1 percent underloaded. Now obviously we would not operate under these conditions because doing so would stress out transformer 2 and would cause it to run at conditions rated much higher than what it was designed for. Unless of course the manufacturer specified that this transformer specifically can be overloaded by a percent more than 4.19 percent for a given time longer than what we would have it pound the load to. But of course that would go into the actual engineering designs of the problem. Next let's say instead how about if transformer 2 is underloaded by 10 percent find the new load power and the resulting contribution power from transformer 1. So really since transformer 2 is underloaded by 10 percent we have to find the new power contribution by T2. So how do we find that? Well we know that our S2 rating is 1000 kVA. We can multiply this by 1 minus 0 0.1 for our 10%. This comes out to be 900 kVA, which is our new S2 prime, or our contribution from transformer 2 flowing to the load right here. Next step, we can find our contribution from transformer 1 as S1 prime equals our T1 power rating divided by impedance over S2 divided by its impedance times our new S2 prime. So we plug in our values, we've got 1500 kVA divided by 6% over 1000 kVA divided by 4.83% times our underloaded amount which is 900 kVA. This gives us a new transformer 1 power contribution of S1 prime equals 1086.75 kVA. Is transformer 1 underloaded? Are overloaded. Transformer 1 is underloaded. And that's because 1086.7 kVA is less than its rating of 1500 kVA. We already know that transformer 2 is underloaded because 900 kVA is less than its rated of 1000 kVA. Okay, that's it for this video. For more examples and to visit our premium review course, come see us at www.electricalpereview.com.